I'm Nick Harris. I've been designing hats for Kangol since 1997. I first started working for Kangol in the factory, so I worked on every aspect of the hat and making the hat, blocking the hat. I studied knit design at college, so I design every part of the hat, from the knitted fabric to the shape to the construction to the pattern. The brand's full of people with amazing passion and uh, you know, always striving to make the hats the best that they can be and keeping the quality the same as it was from the day the brand started in 1938. We still use a lot of the same knitting machines and the machines to make the hats, so we're really obsessive about the quality and making it as the original and keeping it true. I'm very intimidated by hats. Yeah? I'm not really with it. I don't really know the cable. Which shape? I mean, a lot of the time the hat is about how you wear it. So you kind of suit the hat to your personal style. So I think this one would be cute on you. It's got a little bit more personality. All right. So it's kind of a modern bowler hat. So we call it the bombin, which is the slang name for the bowler hat. Okay. So yeah. Bombin? Bombin, yeah. Bombin. So this is a, uh, we call this a mowbray. A Mowbray? Yeah, and it's because this shape's a pork pie shape. Pork so, in England, <laughs> a delicacy of sorts is a pork pie. And the Mowbray pork pie is like the champagne of pork pies. Mm. So this is kind of, it's got the trilby crown and then the peak. So it's kind of a cross between a trilby and an army cap. So we call this the Colette. So yeah, so you see, because this one works well, it kind of flatters your face. Oh, I can kind of hide in this yeah. one if I want to. Exactly. Should you always tuck your ears in, or should you leave them out? Depends. If you're wearing it high on your head, then mm -hmm. you leave the ears out. If you're pulling it down, then tuck, tuck them in. in. Yeah. What's the, the rules on wearing this? Can I can I, I can wear it anywhere I want, yeah. whenever I want, yeah. and I'm a lady, Yeah. so I don't even have to take it off when I go inside? You don't have to take it off when you go inside anyway. No? No, it's Never. not. No, it's I can, fine. I can just walk in and, and like hide. Yeah. <laughs> Be like, guys, I'm a hat person now. I need a new hat. Yeah? Yeah. What sort of style do you like? Uh, I generally only wear baseball caps. Yeah? Yeah. But you feel comfortable with that? Yeah, I feel comfortable. I think they suit me well. I'm, I'm a big sports fan, so I kind of wear hats a lot. Have you tried any other shapes before? Or are you just um, kind of, you know, you stick to what you know? I kind of been sticking to what I know so far, yeah. Okay. I'm going to start you with this one. This is the classic. The Tropic Ventair 504. Oh, that's cool. The shape 504 is named after the block number mm -hmm. that says it. So we'll just give the peak a little curl like you would with your baseball so it kind of feels comfortable. All right. What do you think? I think it looks good. What do you think? Yeah, it's good. Yeah? It suits you. This is made from recycled polyester. So your empty water bottles that you have. This oh, is recycled cool. into the same yarn as this. Right. And this one has a contrast color peak, so it's got a little bit more going on. What do you think? Yeah, it's good. Yeah. It's got a little bit more edge to it. And it's made of plastic bottles? Yeah. Really? Yeah. That's cool. You, want, you don't want the peak to be too wide on your face, otherwise it makes your face look smaller. I'm going to try a little sportier look on you as well. You okay. know, this Sounds looks good. good. So we have two versions of this. This is called the 507. It was called the 507 because we took the essence of the silhouette and then kind of combined it with a baseball silhouette. So it fits much closer to the head and it's narrower. So we've got kind of this seam panelling on the side of this one. So you try that one and then you can see how the shape is slightly different from the hat you have. Also, I think a shape that would be good for you is this hat here, which is made from bamboo. So bamboo is also really good. It's, uh, it goes four times as fast as cotton. Hmm. It doesn't require the pesticides that you need to grow cotton. Right. So it kind of helps that way. And uh, the process we use is really environmentally friendly. It only uses like three processes to get it from the bamboo stem to the fabric. How long have you guys been making hats with alternative materials, I guess? 
quite a few years. I yeah. think we started in 2004, so it's always been a big passion of mine to kind of keep pushing new materials. Anything I can help you with? Um, yes. Actually, you know what? I don't know the name of it. I know what I'm looking for. It's kind of like that. Yeah. Kind of masculine but feminine. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. But this is called an Arnold. It's uh, kind of from um, a 50s sort of time. Yeah. It was. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, that's good. We also have the same shape you liked before in the Arnold in bamboo. So you tried it on in wool, so you've got the summer and the winter. Love that, Miami Beach. Try this one, this is the Annie. So you wear a lot of hats? I do actually, mostly I wear things like this. Like yeah. Hats like this, very um, like Cuban style. So you're quite adventurous with the hats, or you just... You yes, just... and I like colors, I like yeah. bright colors. Like... So we have some cool colors here. So this is a cloche style. So this one is kind of really 1920s inspired. You can wear it a few different ways. You can wear it that way. You can flip it all the way around and oh, have the shorter section at the front. Yeah, I think oh, that yeah. works better for that you. That works better, yeah. So, ultra feminine. Mm-hmm. It's still chic. Yeah. So this was the first hat we ever made. So this is the wool beret. So you try it on how you'd wear it. So you're kind of wearing it the real classic way, mm -hmm. off to the side, the French inspiration. So the logo goes on the right side mm -hmm. for ladies. It goes back to the days of etiquette. And what, the, the left side is for the guys? Left side is for guys. Mm -hmm. So when, when you were out with your lady, the men would always be on the left mm -hmm. to protect the lady from the streets. Let's start with this one. This is a real kind of sleek, trilby shape, which I think would work well with, because you've got kind of a slimmer face. So I think, if you try that on? Yeah, so if you just pull it down a little, there you go. Nice, it's yeah. cool, right? Yeah, so this is a trilby shape, but it's a more modern shape. It's called the Duke. So this is called an Enfield. It's kind of got the, you know, a bit more of a peak, a bit more kind of, on the crown. Actually, this is my favorite. Yeah? Yeah. I like the shape. It's a hat, but like, let's say a, a more than hat. Yeah, we have the player. So you can wear this a few different ways. So this is the Mao. It's kind of a play on words. We spell it M-A-U instead of M-A-O because it kind of had that, you know, Chinese military sort of style to it. An army cap, but more stylish than an army cap. That looks gotcha. really good. I think we found your hat. Yeah. 